G'day guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks so much for being here with me today. Love having your company. <laughs> right. Now, do you remember that um, cloudy pearl pour I did the other day with the recipe from Tara Lombardi? Um, I added a little bit more satin enamels. I didn't work for me the first time. I had to add more satin enamels. This time I thought I'd use the same mix because I've got a lot of it. I made up quite a lot of it. Um, so I've put that in a cup. I'm not going to go through it all, but you can take a snapshot of it. That in the cup, and then I've added a good splash of this milk paint, folk art milk paint, and uh, see how that goes. I will be doing some experimenting because you can't get satin enamels at the moment, as far as I know. So I'm going to be doing some experimenting to see what else we can use. Now these are my leftover paints from that cloudy pearl pour that I did the other day. So, and I just put some, um, like I took my old glove off and I put it over the top, upturned glove. <laughs> it's good, you know, it keeps your paints nice and fresh. Um, so what I thought I'd do today is pour a white puddle in the middle of the canvas and then I'm going to pour my colours in on top. But I thought I might just sort of see if I can layer them a little bit. So then that's the Payne's Grey, that's the silver, and then the blue. Um, not sure how much I need. I don't want to do too much because this paint's really expensive and I'll, have, I'll get a few more pours out of it. So that's about half a cup. Pour some of this in. Now I'm not going to do a traditional, I guess, traditional cloud pour. I'm just going to pour this in, into the center. Like so. <laughs> And um, I'm going to just see what happens. Why not? Why not? Okay, and I've got it on my little spinner. And I'm just going to spin and let's just see what happens, hey? Because normally you would put, like if you're doing a pearl pull, you put your colours, your pearl, your, your sort of metallic -y pearl colours down first. I'm getting stuff, I'm getting stuff. Oh my gosh, stop. You put your, I'm trying to talk here. I'm going dizzy watching this thing. So normally you put your pearl colours down first and then you pour your black on top. But I've sort of, oh my God, I've reversed it this time. Oh my gosh. OMG. No more, no more. Oh God, I'm getting dizzy now. <laughs> I was watching that spin so fast. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Stop, I'm not even going to torch. Wowzers. I've never done that before with a, with a pearl paw. Like, if you look at my videos from like a year ago when I was doing pearl paws, um, I'd layer my colours in the cup with the white and then I'd pour and then, you know, I'd um, turn everything over. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm watching this and it's just taking over. Okay, that's um, that's not what I wanted. Stop. All right. I think I added a little bit too much milk paint. <laughs> or it could just it could just be that churn. It could just be the churning. It looks as if I'm going to have a little tiny bit of <laughs> blue. Oh my gosh! It's eaten everything up. I reckon I could go a little bit thicker with my mix. I think it's a little bit on the thin side. Just look at it go. Look at that go. Well, if you want a painting about a snowstorm, you've got one. <laughs> oh my gosh. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Oh my gosh. Hmm. How fast was that reaction? Okay. Um, what can I do? What can I do? I need to thicken up. I need to thicken up my paint. See, when I used this mix, this same mix the other day, um, nothing really happened. 
I wonder, see I don't know whether it's the milk paint or whether it's the fact that I poured my colours into the white and it churned. Like, was that it? Is that what did it? Or is it the milk paint? I don't know. Now, I wonder... Alright, let's do this again. Let's do the original mix that I did the other day. I'll pour over this. There's no point keeping this. <laughs> is there? Is there? Oh. I'll take a photo of it. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Um... See, I've only am up to five minutes. It's way too short. All right, I'll just, um, what will I do? I'll use the same white that I've made that's got that little bit of satin enamels that I used the other day. Um, and I'll do exactly the same thing as I did now. And we'll see if it's the milk paint that's changed. All right. This is just bizarre. Just bizarre. What happens if I torch in the middle? So funny. Ooh. Snowflakes, you guys. Snowflakes. Actually, that was fun. Let me get my other balloon. Maybe I won't ruin this one. Maybe we'll keep it. Now, I've got water balloon. towel to wipe my balloon on. I think I'm going to have to go over a couple of times. See how the blue's kind of moving in there a little bit? Actually, what happens if? What happens if? Let's try this. Let's put a little blob of blue and a blob of blue and a blob of blue and a blob of blue. Oops! Two blobs of blue. Let's dip into... Oh, it's disappearing. Let's dip into that. It's probably not going to do very much. Not really. See how this one's, the white's eating it up again? I'm going to have to go over a few times, I think. Because um, the, the, the white's just eating it up. So I have to take a little bit more paint off the surface, I think. So let's not ruin this. Let's see if we can get a pretty painting out of it. And then next time, oops, my paint's peeling off my balloon. Next time I'll, I'll try something different, but maybe it's the churning of the white. Do you think? Could be. Oh no, my balloon's sprung a leak. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, let me take it to the sink. Oh, wow. Okay, I've got this big balloon that I used, um, actually it was today, with the red and pink pour. It hasn't got water in it, but let's just, let's just do it. I think we can get away with it few bigger ones in the corner. The air balloon's a little bit easier to handle than the water balloon, especially when you're doing it on a corner and the canvas is tipping. I don't know if these are going to keep their shape. I really don't. I think maybe the white's just going to eat it up. Unless I put a decent amount of blue on it. Let's see. But I think maybe the white's going to eat up the blue again. Okay, well there's my blue. Let's see if it'll actually stay. Actually, I might not wipe the balloon off. I might just, I might just um, go over it again. Those um, cells in the centre there are getting huge. Hardly got any blue left at all. Okay, here we go. Into that one. Into that one. Into that one. 
into that one. So I didn't wipe my balloon off that time. Oh, this one, see, this one's got a little bit too much blue now. I think I do need to wipe it between each one. All right, so what do you think? Hmm. I could still scrape it. <laughs> it's not very exciting, is it? I just wanted to try it though, like I, I wanted to try it, but um, yeah, it's not really doing anything for me. Right, um, now let's do what I said I was going to do and pour on some of this, just straight like this. So that hasn't got any extra satin enamels in it, it hasn't got any milk paint in it. Um, I'm going to actually pour that little bit of white left into the from the cup. I'm just going to pour that back into the container because I don't want to waste it. There's not there's not that much in there that's going to actually change anything. I just don't want to waste it. Okay, so I'll put that back in there. Put the lid on. I'm just going to give it a shake, shake, shake. Now I'll use this same cup. There we go. Um, now, what did I do first? I did the, I did the navy first. A little bit of a navy. Uh, Payne's grey, but anyway, it looks navy, doesn't it? A little bit of silver. A little bit of blue. And I think I'll go some more Payne's. Okay. Because the white just eats it all up. Okay. Now, let's do... The mix, pour this on like so. Maybe I've created a new technique or something. Let's try like a, a bit of a ring pour into it. That's going to stay like that anyway. It's going to get eaten up again. Let's move you out. Okay. I didn't actually see. I didn't pour it in. Uh -oh. Hang on. I've got to go and see to my baby. Hang on. She's all right. Um, she's getting to the stage where she's climbing up onto the couch. Oh, this is my puppy. One of my puppies. She's starting to climb up onto the couch and she probably fell off. But she's all right. She had a cuddle from mum. Right. Um, as I was saying, when I poured this in, I didn't churn it as much. So it might not actually do the same thing. But let's spin it anyway. So it might be totally different because I changed it. I changed my way I did it. So it might not be the same. Hey. Um, something in there. All right, I'm just going to go again. Yeah, so that could be the, the difference because I haven't poured it in from up high and churned it like I did for the first one. See, I should have kept the, I should have kept that constant the same. But anyway, let's have a look and see what happens if anything certainly not pearls aren't kind of jumping out like they did before so see now I don't know if it's because I didn't churn or because I've changed the base paint anyway let's torch and see if what happens I poured it in from up high so it churned and then I would have known if it was the churning or whether it was the base paint. Hey, that was a bit silly of me. I don't like these big blobs. Right, the 
so we've got, well, we've got some cloudy pearls happening. in the middle if possible. I do think my my mix is a little bit thin though because my pearls aren't nice and round but um, yeah we certainly are getting pearls that's for sure or clouds. Cloudy pearls? I don't know if they're pearls because they haven't got the metallic in them they just got the cloud mix in them. I don't know. I think I prefer the other one. The um, I, I know I put a lot of Payne's Grey in this one, but it's really taken over, hasn't it? Yeah, not really that keen on this one. Um, mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to do? I think that my white base is too thin. I'm going to add some more white paint to it because. You can see how the cells pop up and they're not nice and round and fluffy and and that. So I'm going to mix, I'm going to just, I won't add paint to all of it. I'll, I'll do it in front of you. Hang on. Hang on. Let's pick up. That's my pouring medium. We're having a bit of an experimental day today, okay? So this is my normal mix. Put half a cup in it, and I'm going to add some more white. Uh, I've got any left in the bottle? I'm going to try and thicken it up. See if I can thicken it up a bit. See how they're all blending into each other. Do not like that. So maybe I just need to change my base recipe. So it's a bit lumpy, lumpy, bumpy. See, I like it when that then the pearls stay together, uh, stay nice and round. I don't like it when they all bump into each other like that. And to me, they look as if they're a bit too watery. Add a bit more. I'm not getting much out of that one. I'll leave it upside down for a while. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of satin enamels because I don't think that that amount um, in my bottle is quite enough. Let's do a big scoop. Not much left in that one. Two scoops. All right. So extra white paint to thicken it up. Extra satin enamels. The clouds. I find that the milk paint gives me a different shape of cell. Still not leaving a mound, but it's not making a dent. Before it was making a dent when the paint hit the surface. So it's not making a dent, but it's not making a mound either. Alright, let's see how that goes. <laughs> so I wanted to do that. Um, now, oh my gosh, I've made such a mess here today. Sorry if I'm having a long video, but I'm just I'm just playing. I'm just experimenting here. Um, I like those little white cells that pop up. I'm actually going to take that paint off so that I can start with a, a clean canvas. I had. Beautiful clean puppy piddle pads in here five minutes ago. Now look at them. Hey, now it's just a mess. And I'm in a big mess. Now let me wipe my hands. Um, 
what will I do this time? I think what I'll do this time is, actually I better zoom you out and get a bit more, because you're still zoomed in, you're not going to be able to see, oh it doesn't matter, I'll get my gloves off again. Um, I think what I'll do this time is just pour that in, yeah, might as well use it all, it's only like two thirds of a cup, it's not a lot. I think this cup holds about, uh, what does it hold? I think it's a cup, so it's probably only two thirds of a cup. Now, um, I haven't got much left of this. Shall we do, oh, let's just do a puddle. In you go. Go from up high though. Try and blend you a little bit. I haven't got much left of this one, unfortunately. Don't come to me. That was the um, golden, golden fluid Payne's Grey. It's all gone now. All gone. It's expensive, but look, I didn't use very much of it, so I'm going to get a little bit more of that one. Why are you off to the side? Go back. Um, let's just do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Come back to the middle. All right. Let's spin it. See what happens. Here we go. Have a big blue mass in the centre. Do I need to spin it again is my question, is my question. All the light blue is gone. I didn't think I had very much of the, I'm going to stop it. It's looking like a, <laughs> you know the beginning of Star Wars where it has all the stars coming at you? It looks like that. There's a big blob something in there. That's what it looks like. Mm. Oh, it doesn't matter, just a bit of dried paint. All right, let's see how that's going to look now. So we're getting this long sort of spiky galaxy look because when the pearls popped up, I was still spinning, so they've elongated. How cool is that? How cool is that? too much again and I'm not happy with it. <laughs> uh, snowstorm. Now as you can see already right off the bat these cells are much smaller and that's because my white I made my white thicker I added more white to it and I personally prefer that. They may still keep growing anyway I don't know what they're going to do. I'm going to just clean off down the bottom here. I'm so tempted to um, put a balloon in the middle. I am, I'm really tempted to put a balloon in the middle. Where's my little balloon? Oh, that's right, my bigger one sprung a leak. Not a little one, let's try the little one, hey? Oh. No, let's just do the big one. Right in the middle. Ready? Well, that was deflating. Get it? Deflating? Let's try again. I've obviously got more paint on that side. I need to push on that side. No. Well, that's weird. Why aren't I getting any colour on that? I'm going to turn the balloon around. See if I can put some colour back there. Right, I 
that stop there before I take all the colour away and left with a bare canvas, hey? Let's wipe my balloon. Oh my gosh, look at my pearls. <laughs> they've taken over again. <laughs> they have, they've taken over again. Wowzers. Okay. I think it's the churning, you guys. <laughs> is that oh my gosh I quite like it though I do I quite like it I much prefer that one with the smaller pearls than the bigger pearls this is so funny and hopefully I won't um, hopefully they won't get too much bigger because I like how you can see the navy through there you can see a little bit of blue through here pale blue but not much and then in here, we've got little tiny pearls popping up. Little tiny pearls popping up. I wonder if there's any more navy that I can... Let's put a little blob on top. It will, it'll move, it'll blend and move, I think. I was gonna do, I was gonna actually drop a little tiny balloon in the center of it, like that. See what that looks like. All right, I think I'm done for today. I've done like four pours today. I'm getting tired. I'm gonna get my gloves off. Well, you saw what the difference in the base paint thickness did. I want to see if I can get a few more little pearls on that side. What can I use? What can I use? Um, what have I got to make a dot? It's just bothering me that I don't have anything there on the side. I'm going to little, what do you call it? Cotton bud. I'm just going to dip some white into it and just See if I can get a little bit of stuff happening. I think it'll all kind of blend in. It just, just bothering me how I've got nothing there. Whoops, that was a bit much. Okay, now I'm happy. Happy little Vegemite. Okay, I just, I just kind of balanced it. Then those will blend in a little bit. I just had nothing there and I just didn't like it. Right, quite happy with this one. Let's go down for a close up. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's, it's called snowstorm. <laughs> How weird, how absolutely weird is that? Now I did add a little bit more satin enamels, didn't I? Mm. I probably didn't need two scoops of it. So you can see a little bit of the blue there. So I'll do some more experimenting, I will. Let's put the sides. So I'm, I guess I'm happy with that mix. I just need to change it up a little bit, the base mix, um, add a little bit more white to it, I'll change my recipe, add a bit more white, add a bit more satin enamels, not quite this much but a little bit more and um, we'll, we'll go again do another experiment. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, do you love it? Do you hate it? It's boring? I don't know, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, Never mind. It is what it is. It's what I got. Could be happy. Certainly got pearls. <laughs> Clouds. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I'll see you all real soon. I'm going to go and cuddle my puppy, have a coffee, put my feet up. 
I'm exhausted. Exhausted. All right. I'll see you real soon. Love you all. Bye for now.